Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts Bold Speech, and we're trick number four for the Office Timeline Plus add-in. How to quickly change the macro level formatting styles of your entire graphic in just a few clicks of your mouse. And there's a little catch to the timing on this you should be aware of that I'll quickly point out as well. And similar to SmartArt and PowerPoint, where you can quickly flip and change the styles of the graphic, we can do the same thing here with our Office Timeline graphic. All we need to do is just come up to the Office Timeline tab, navigate over to the Change dropdown. Notice you have a couple of different formatting options, Gantt chart, Metro, Round Corners, Leaf. But what I want to point out is this flat versus gel look. And if you just look at this box very closely, you can see the gel has shadows and bevels on the objects where the flat doesn't. My current graphic, if I just come out of that, has that drop shadow, has those bevels. If I don't like that for any reason, I can simply come to change, select change, flat versus gel, which will flip the graphic to the other option. And you can see that's what the graphic now looks like. But there's a catch to this that you want to be aware of. When you start with your office timeline graphic, you always want to start, if I just come up to the office timeline tab, you want to start with your macro level formatting styles first, flat versus gel, because these macro level formatting options have a tendency to override your manual adjustments. Not all of them, but some of them. So for example, let's say that for my testing task, if I came up to the drawing tools format tab, I came to the shape effects. Let's say that I just had a glow on this and I'll just choose this color to match the taskbar. Let's say that I had added that to highlight this testing task and then I decided I wanted to change the macro level format. Well, watch what happens if I come to the office timeline tab, I select change. I'm going to go back to the gel look. So I'll select gel. Notice that my manual formatting adjustments were wiped out. So you don't want to be spinning your own wheels, remaking your own manual adjustments, which is why you always want to come and start with your macro level formatting styles first. That'll save you a bunch of extra time as you work with your office timeline graphic. So that's how to change the macro level formatting styles of your graphic with just a few clicks of your mouse. This again is hands down the fastest way that I know of to build a timeline or Gantt chart in PowerPoint while still retaining full control of the graphic. To get the full functionality of the add-in, you do need to get the paid version, but it'll more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. Next up, I'll show you how to turn your graphic into a PowerPoint table that you can then reincorporate into your layout any way you like. If you want a link to the Office Timeline add-in or a cheat sheet of the steps covered here, look for the links below in the description box. If you want to see more videos like this about the Office Timeline added, leave me a note in the comments section below. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. Say you have a boss that wants to see the information in a table format and then reincorporate it with your graphic. Well, the Office Timeline makes that super easy. All you need to do is just come to the Office Timeline tab, come to Change dropdown. Notice you have a table option here on the downward left. It immediately inserts a table. This is a default. This is a native